Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about holds in the Unibuilds A350 for Microsoft Life Simulator. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a um, custom flight plan for the purpose of this example today. But say, for example, you're flying into Manchester or anywhere else and you need to set up a hold. This video is what it's all about. So hit like, hit subscribe, share your tips, tricks, thoughts down in the comments section below. You can see at the minute we're kind of flying a bit of a back course uh, on towards the Elbos 1 mic arrival. And we're going to set up the hold at Dane, which is the transition towards the approach into Manchester and uh, we need that right hand turn inbound course 311 and then a right hand leg for about one minute so to do that well I'll leave it in heading mode just to maintain this for now we locate the waypoint that we want to set the hold up at and there it is Dane just there so we click it find hold on the menu items and then we're going to check the data so we've already mentioned there the inbound course was 311 to Dane. So we can go ahead and change that if you want to, or 310 is pretty much bang on the money anyway. So we can go ahead and enter or edit that as required. Left or right turns based on the nav data. Always check what it says on the charts and compare that against this. Go for right turn, one minute. You can also input distance here, so sort of four nautical miles, for example. Some holds do require four nautical mile holds and some specify sort of one minute but that's pretty much the standard anyway once you're done temporary flight plan insert temporary so I'm going to now go direct to Cushy splitting into that Elvos one mic and then from there we'll begin the descent towards Dane flight level 80 speed 230 knots look you can see and in the flight plan just after we arrive at that waypoint at 11.59 we then enter the hold at Dane and we'll continue to fly that hold for the foreseeable. Now as we approach the waypoint you'll notice on your flight plan that actually the hold's not initially drawn in but you can see there that there's a little sort of symbol at Dane which is indicating a hold and a decel point as well just after that. And you can see on the constraints tab flight level 80 speed 230 that's because we've got constraints active there. Now what we are going to do is uh, enter the hold at 10,000 feet as if we are flying into Manchester during a VATSIM event for example or perhaps on an evening when it's quite busy and uh, the approach controller has asked us to enter the hold at flight level 100. So we're going to level off at 100 which is just about now, bring the speed down to 230 knots and then we'll enter that hold and I'll talk about some of the considerations uh, when we get there. Now as we close in we're going to pass waypoint Cushy. Dane is the next waypoint. What the aeroplane is then going to do as we'll see in a minute is begin to display the hold for us. There we go. So now we know that we've got an active hold at the next waypoint and it's that right hand turn that matches precisely what we want on the charts as well so that is good we know then we're going to fly an accurate hold for that air traffic controller to make sure that we are nice and accurate for operating the aeroplane in a busy airspace around us we can go ahead and just kind of sort of configure the aeroplane with 10,000 feet AGL within that so we're landing lights, seatbelt signs, all that kind of thing is on and it's a good time at this point to make sure that all of your approach data is already complete and I've gone ahead and already done that as you can see we're not going to activate approach mode just yet because we're going to fly the hold but I have already armed the auto brake for brake to vacate okay so we are about to enter the hold we're going to see because we're on managed mode really important there make sure our speed is at the right airspeed I'm getting myself distracted with some other bits speed error there look at waypoint hold right waypoint Dane 
it's already warning us of that because we've been a little bit sloppy so what we'll do is just bring it down to 220 it's a maximum speed of 230 knots 220 is fine and we're entering that hold there at 10,000 feet and you can see on the FMS that uh, actually what it's done is it's activated that and it's given us now an option of immediate exit we need to now step down uh, through the stack and uh, the Air traffic controller might tell you initially to step down to 9,000 feet as a way to separate traffic. Uh, 1,000 foot increments in a block. At Heathrow, they might actually be separated by only 500 feet. They're very, very dense stacks. So you might get asked to go to, for example, into Heathrow, 9,500 feet or 9,000 feet, whatever it might be. Then you'll be able to kind of work it out from there. So we'll go ahead and enter that open descent, but actually control it via vertical speed mode and select 800 feet per minute from the aeroplane. We've got a 30 knot crosswind as we enter that hold at Dane, so we're being pushed easterly uh, or northeasterly all the way by that wind 255 at 30. So it's trying to drift us away from that hold, but the autopilot does a very good job of holding it, providing you're at the right speeds. And we can just work down that stack like so. Then the aeroplane would level off at 9,000. And we could continue to fly that until we get told, for example, you know, to send now in the hold 8,000 feet. And then we could just continue that descent in the stack as required. And the aeroplane will just keep flying this until we ask it to exit the hold. Now you might be told uh, immediate exit, exit the hold at Dane, whatever the condition is from air traffic control and we will then need to work out how to execute that. And it might be that you exit using uh, a direct to, so you might do a direct to the approach, you might go to heading mode um, and then vector left, it might be uh, leave the hold now, left turn heading 090, so go ahead and execute that. Or we can arm the exit like so. Just one click, immediate exit. Because we're still now flying that right turn towards Dane to then exit the hold, we've still got the option there to resume the hold if anything changes before we reach Dane. So it's a little bit of a backup choice for us there. It's, it's quite a nice way of. Uh, flying and uh, entering and exiting the holds it's pretty much the normal way but as I mentioned you could get vectors from air traffic control and you just have to comply with those if you can and then tidy up the box afterwards so the airplane's now going to continue to fly that leg up to Dane and then from there into Manchester, we will vector towards the final approach. So it is a good chance now that you should be completely set up for your approach, everything briefed, things like all your standby Q&H and your approach speeds, minimums, auto brake, brake to vacate, everything by now is set up ready to go for you, the approach that you're about to fly because we are now exiting the hold expecting those vectors to final if you're flying around the states though for example and uh, you're in one of those super long stars that fly into some of the big airports when you exit the hold the managed nav system on here will just continue to fly your star wherever you are in it so uh, don't be too put off for that. I picked Manchester because the uh, arrival doesn't actually, as you can see on the charts here, doesn't actually connect to the approach. It's just a big gap, so we have to do the work. And in reality, air traffic control will vector us to final approach at that point. So there we go, holds nice easy. Hope you found it really useful. Hit like, hit subscribe, share any other tips down in the comments below. And in the meantime, as always, check out all of my other Anybuilds A350 tutorials. 
Uh, some of them tackle uh, break to vacate, how to deal with nav data issues, all that kind of thing. I'm going to put the work in now to head into Manchester, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.